Hello and welcome to our writing session uh, on cause and effect essay and this is part one in the lesson. The school's vision is learn today, leave tomorrow. So by the end of the session you should be able to define cause and effect essays and recognize the steps of writing and uh, um, and by the end, we are going to practice writing a, a cause and effect essay of four or five paragraphs. So let's start with defining cause and effect essay. Exposition is writing that informs or explains. So this is the meaning of exposition writing. Very well. A cause and effect essay is a brief piece of expository writing that explains the circumstances leading to an event or a situation. It may also predict what will happen as a result of a, cer a certain situation, a current situation, sorry, features of an effect, effective cause and effect essay include so how to write or how to make your essay effective let's look at these points a clear explanation of one or more causes so i start usually and definitely i start with the causes and explain the causes and then i go to the effects and explain them okay number two a star presentation of facts statistics and other details that support each explanation so while i'm explaining the causes for example cause one i i have to present the facts statistics if any and any further details to support my claim and then number three a clear and consistent organization i have to organize we're going to talk about this how to organize the cause and effect essay and then this is very important also i have to use transition words that clearly indicate the connections among the details also we're going to talk about this so what are types of uh here there should be an s very well types of cause and effect essay uh these types include history reports lab reports and uh, what are the new reports so history reports explain the reasons behind past events something that happened in the past and you have for example you have an assignment you say you have to write um in uh, regarding some history uh historical event so you have to look at the causes and effects or lab reports this is like uh, experiments and scientific uh, rep uh, reports and the new reports the explain cause uh, causes and effects of current events or developments so what about the topics it's uh, very crucial to choose a good topic for your cause and effect essay so you you're not just to choose anything to write about you have to think before you choose this topic and assign it uh, for your writing uh, think about it does it have many causes uh, or uh, are there many causes you, you can include and are there many effects you can conclude um, include in your essay and talk about if not you shouldn't choose this topic for this kind of essay so let's read here use a topic web this is a way to organize like a graphic organizer to uh, organize your ideas and narrowing your uh, topic so you can draw a circle in the center of a blank uh, page you write your topic inside the circle and then write connected ideas inside new circles around your topic and then drew lines to connect it's uh, it's like the uh, this kind of um we used to in another type of uh writing uh, yeah so this is the uh, uh the web uh mentioned in the previous uh, slide you're going for example choose here 
uh, start with I'm going to show you how this web has started. It started from here with the word pollution and then expanded to water pollution and air pollution. And here also this is land pollution. Okay, and from each pollution you're going to find cause, for example, water, uh, water uh, pollution. You're going to see here cause, oil spills, and then cause and then effect immediately. Fish die off. And then another cause, which is erosion, but there are no effects here. And uh, cause uh, here dumping, with like uh, throwing the garbage and the um, uh, industrial waste into uh, the water streams. Okay, so this is how you can think about uh, how to organize your ideas for cause and effect essay. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video on how to write cause-effect uh, essays. Uh, I want to spend some time today to talk about the structure of a cause-effect essay, cause what it is, uh, how you can write a successful one, and some of the elements that you need to write an effective cause-effect essay. So, uh, let's begin. Uh, first of all, what is a cause-effect essay? Well, a cause-effect essay tells the reader how an event or a cause leads to another event or effect. In a cause-effect essay, you need to be sure that causes and effects you mention are logically connected. So it's about finding a cause and connecting it to an effect. Pretty simple so far. So how do I organize my cause-effect essay? So if you want to talk about both causes and effects, you can logically connect them together in a body paragraph. Now, if you have three causes and three effects, then your essay might look like this. So this is a five paragraph structure, um, which is pretty simple and pretty straightforward to write. And it's pretty commonly used as well in academic writing. Um, so if we look at the first paragraph, we have our three elements. We have our hook, we have our connecting information, and then we have our thesis statement. I'll come on to talk about the thesis statement a little bit later in the video. Um, but that would be your first paragraph in the introduction. We then would have three body paragraphs, which would be organized like this. So in paragraph two, we'd have the first cause and the first effect. And then in the next paragraph, we'd have the second cause and the second effect. In the uh, third body paragraph, paragraph four, we'd have the third cause and the third effect. And then finally, we'd have our conclusion paragraph uh, as paragraph five, which would restate the thesis and then provide a suggestion, an opinion, or a prediction. Now, there is a little bit more to a, a cause-effect essay than just these five paragraphs. Um, and again, there are some other things you might need to include, but this is just a basic outline of how you could structure your cause-effect paragraph. So the first thing we need to do is to choose a topic. Obviously, a good topic is key to writing a good, solid, successful cause-effect essay. So when choosing a topic, it's important to choose one that has many possible causes and effects. If we are too specific, we're not gonna be able to write about different causes and effects. If we are too general, again, it might be too difficult to think of specific causes and effects. So we're not too general, we're not too specific. Let me give you an example. So the increasing use of online education. This would be a good topic because there's lots of possible causes and effects we could talk about. Online education is increasing, why is that? What are the effects of that? So we could talk about that quite easily, I would think. How to play basketball. This would not be a good topic. Um, it's not really possible to talk about causes and effects of how to play basketball. So this one is not a good uh, topic. Declining birth rates in Japan. Again, this is another good topic for a cause effect essay because what are the reasons for this? What are the causes of this? And what is happening as a result? What are the effects? So do make sure that you choose a good topic where you can talk about different possible causes and effects. So next, let's look at supporting details. We have our outline, we have our topic. Next, we need some supporting details. So after choosing a topic, you then need to focus on the causes and effects you'll talk about in your essay. Now, a useful way to do this is to make two lists or use one of the diagrams below. It's up to you how you gather your supporting details, but these are just two ways that you could try if you need to. Pretty simple, 
causes on one side, effects on the other side, uh, to follow the structure to organize your essay. Another way here is to include all of them together, the topic here, the causes and the effects. So again, whatever works for you, uh, but this is two possible uh, ways that you could make your supporting details and decide on the supporting details that you want to use in your cause and effect essay. So we've covered the outline, we've covered the topic, and we've covered the support. Let's look at the structure of a cause and effect essay. We are going to start with the introduction, which is paragraph one, where we are going to state our uh, uh, our topic and mention. Make sure that you mention uh, we uh, that we are going to talk about causes and effects in the same uh, essay. And in the body, we have paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four. In each paragraph, we're going to uh, or we're going to mention. Uh, one cause and one effect and then the conclusion where we are going to restate our uh, topic sentence and then uh, we can also we can include a, a suggestion or an opinion or to predict something that might happen uh, so this is practice time we are going to choose one of these uh, topics and we are going to write them together in our virtual classroom. Thank you so much. I hope you, uh, to see you there. Thank you.